how do we implement change? So firstly, I want to use this platform to oh. not give you more knowledge. Knowledge is everywhere, okay? And knowledge is important, but knowledge is useless unless you learn how to put it into action. I want to use this platform to help you take action, okay? So the first thing I want, I like to get people to focus on is tuning into their why and really tuning into it because this is going to allow you to make change and also make sure that you stay the course, implement the change and come out the other side. So obviously I want to make this related to health and fitness. So I'm going to use health and fitness examples. Okay, so let's say you're someone that you know, your doctor has told you you need to lose two stone. Okay, and there we go. You have the intention. You want to lose two stone. There's your intention straight away. It's very important. Your doctor told you. Okay, so you're pumped. You're motivated. Before you get going, I want you to sit down and ask yourself, why do you need to lose two stone. Now the obvious thing is, yeah, my doctor told me. That's fine. But I want you to go an awful lot deeper than that. Why are you choosing to lose the weight right now? Why is it important to you? And maybe you're a mum or a dad or a husband. Whatever it is, you need to go and look at the most important people in your life and are they the reason that you need to lose weight? So you need to go deep. You need to ask yourself, why is it important that you make this change. And then you need to ask yourself, if I make this change and if I'm successful, what will my life look like in 12 weeks from now? And then what's it gonna look like in a year from now, two years from now, okay? So that's the pleasure. You're gonna go towards the pleasure. So what's my life gonna look like if I can implement these changes? But then on the flip side, you need to ask yourself, okay, what if I don't make these changes? What's my life gonna look like in 12 years from now or 12 months from now, two years from now? 20 years from now, if I don't implement these changes. So that's the pain, okay? So remember, motivation is usually derived from either seeking pleasure or you're trying to avoid pain. So we're looking at both sides here, okay? So they're the first two things you need to ask yourself. And then you need to look at some past behaviors. So maybe you've tried to lose weight in the past and maybe you've gone all in at the beginning and you were very successful for the first four weeks, but maybe then as four weeks passed, you went a bit off plan and then all of a sudden, bang, you're off plan and you find yourself back to where you started. Okay, you need to look at that and look at some of the patterns during that time and take the learnings from it, okay? It's only ever a real failure if you haven't learned from it. So take the learnings from it and maybe look at what can you do different this time. Maybe you're a perfectionist and maybe because things weren't perfect that you just gave up. So maybe that's a behavior you need to examine. Maybe you need to examine your perfectionism. Maybe you need to settle for not having things so perfect and know that one day, two days, even three days is okay so long as you learn to get back on track straight away. So I like to use this graph here, you'll see it up on the screen, that when we have an intention, when we have a goal, it starts with a separation from your current self, okay? So you're trying to separate from who you currently are. So again, let's go back to the weight loss example. You're trying to lose two stone. So you're trying to separate from that person. Okay, so the initiation starts by you choosing to separate from the person that you currently are. Okay, and that's when the motivation is really high. That's when things are going very well. Maybe you sign up to a gym, maybe you have your meal plan, everything is going really, really well. And for the first four weeks, this is happening. Okay, but then we get to the descent. Okay, so this is what I call the sticky middle. So this might be after the first four weeks, six weeks, when things aren't going quite so well. Maybe you pick up an illness. Maybe there's a family bereavement. Maybe one of your kids picks up an illness. Just things go off plan. It throws you off track. And all of a sudden, there's a bit of a sticky middle. And it's kind of like a descent. You're going backwards. You're nearly going back towards your old self. And this is the most important time that you need to tune into that way. This is when you need to tell yourself, right, go back to your notes, this is my way. Go back to past behaviors, learn from those past behaviors and remember that, okay, I haven't done anything for a week or two, but look, we know that I can get right back on track and I can keep pushing forward. And if you can get through that sticky middle, this is where we move on to emergence. This is when you come out the other side, okay? But unfortunately for a lot of people, they don't make it to the emergence. So I call it, it's called the suspended initiation. So you get to the descent, you start to give, things go off track, things aren't perfect, and you're like, era, fix this, couldn't be arsed. And you're right back to the start. So it's a suspended initiation, and you're right back to where you were. You're back to the person that you were trying to separate from, and this is where things get messy. So it's that sticky middle is the most important area, and that's the area we need to tune into that way. You need to look back at times that you've tried in the past and you need to make sure that you're tackling those behaviors. You need to make sure that you're learning from those mistakes. You need to make sure that you implement them so that you can emerge. And when you emerge, come out the other side of it, that's where the magic happens. Because when you come out the emergence, you're all of a sudden, 
you've separated from that person. So let's say that you've lost that two stone, you're out the other side of it, and then all of a sudden, Jesus, I feel great. I'm gonna keep going with this. I'm enjoying my exercise. I'm enjoying eating better. I'm just a better person. So you've separated from the person that you were and you become this new person and that new person becomes the norm. But the biggest, biggest problem for most people and the thing you need to be most aware of is the sticky middle that bit in the middle. That's when things get messy. That's when the ego starts to take over. The ego is trying to push you back into that comfort zone. No, 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 it's too hard. Go back, go back, go back. You need to say, fuck that. I'm gonna push on through. I'm gonna make sure that, okay, things are getting hard. Things aren't quite as perfect as they were a few weeks ago, but I know that if I can remain somewhat consistent, I know that if I can push through these few weeks, that eventually I'll emerge. And when I'll emerge, that's when I'll have separated from that past person. I'm gonna be a new person, and then I'm gonna go after new goals, and I'm gonna use the exact same strategy to chase that new goal. That's how you implement change. I feel there's so many videos out there, out there now that tell you to do this, that, or whatever. That's fine. That's all this immediate stuff. Go lift this, do this exercise, do that exercise. But that's fine. What you really need to tackle is why stuff is important to you. Because motivation, all that kind of stuff, they're all emotions. It comes and it goes. You just can't depend on it. What you can depend on, if you really, really look inwards, tune into that why, that's the thing that's going to keep you going. That's the thing that's going to move you through that sticky period. And that's the thing that's going to keep you moving forward. Because there's people that are depending on you. Okay, and I'm going to keep this health and fitness related. Let's say you are two stone overweight. And let's say you keep living the life that you currently live. Like, ask yourself, if I keep living this life, what am I going to be like in two years from now? So if I keep putting on a pound a week for the next 54 weeks, that's 50 more pounds. If I plan a pound a month for the next 12 months, that's 12 more pounds, that's an extra stone. And if you keep doing that for the next couple of years, you see where I'm going? So you need to separate from that identity. You need to choose to separate from that identity. And you need to know that you're going to be faced with the middle, the sticky part. It's going to be lots of different challenges, but you need to trust yourself and back yourself that once you push through and emerge, you can be a better person and health, fitness can just become part of who you are. It doesn't need to be something you need to even try it anymore because it becomes your new identity okay if this resonates with you number one make sure you subscribe to this page We're going to be sharing a lot more of this information and number two if i sound like the type of person that can help you let's say you've done fitness clubs slim clubs all that stuff in the past and none of it's really got to the the core of the problem maybe i'm the coach for you maybe i'm the guy that's going to help you look in get to that core and make sure that once and for all that you push on through that sticky middle and you emerge as a person that you want to be all right chat to you soon